nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Well, good morning, good morning, guys. Look at that. It is still raining. Yes, indeed it is. But... I looked at the radar and I'm heading towards St. Louis and I think it is St. Louis, I think it's uh, St. Louis. Anyways, I'm heading north and it looks like I don't have to go too far, maybe an hour, hour and a half and I'll be out of this rain. Yeah, I figured I downloaded me an app there uh, called uh, Weather Radar or whatever, you know. So I wanted to see whereabouts this weather crap is at, you know. I'm getting sick of this rain, you know, <laughs> if you can't tell already, <laughs> I've been bitching and complaining about it all the last two days, right, yep, anyways, we're gonna get out of here in a few minutes, just letting the truck warm up, and uh, once that's all warmed up and everything, then we are ready to roll, yeah. So, let's finish the logbook and then let's get out of here. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. Well guys, we are in Missouri. Yeah, that's right. We got about, yeah, about 45 minutes to go. Then we'll be in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. But it is still raining. But as I said this morning, I looked on the weather radar there. And it looks like uh, it might be raining till we get past St. Louis yet. So once we get past St. Louis, it should probably stop raining. Yep. So probably within the next hour or so, we should probably be running out of the rain. But it's still been a good day. I've been on the road now for three hours. Yeah, cruising along pretty steady. I was looking at my hours this morning and uh, it looks like I might just be able to uh, have enough hours to just barely make it to the border tomorrow night so I'm gonna try and keep it real steady today and tomorrow so that way I don't do a lot of stopping and all that stuff so that way I can get to the border tomorrow if I can do that then I'll be home tomorrow night get me a reset in and I'm planning on uh, if I can get home tomorrow Tomorrow is Wednesday, I take a reset on Thursday, I'm hoping to go it on Friday again, because Friday we usually get some decent runs, so we're going to attempt to go it on Friday again. I need some miles, I just want to do reset and go, I don't want to take a, a lot of days off now, you know. I have made a plan to do some stuff and so I want to work hard in order to uh, succeed in it, you know. And what my plan is, uh, I want to start paying off a little extra money on my debt. I got quite a bit of debt and uh, I want to make a pledge to start paying off more. Now, it might vary every month, but uh, I want to try and make a big effort and try and pay off more debt. So I'm really hoping that I can get my one credit card paid off by the end of next year. Like I said, I do have a big debt, and so. Uh, that's what I'm going to be working on. Both 
hopefully I can uh, we can uh, succeed you know hopefully I can uh, withstand all the temptation that come along on the way you know hopefully I don't have too many big problems with the truck so I don't have to spend too much money into the truck so I can actually do what I want to do which is pay off more debt if I have too much truck problems or whatever then I obviously won't be able to do it oh look at that there's a penner there in the rest area up there I already passed another penner up here uh, about an hour ago maybe maybe 45 minutes ago there's quite a few penners on this highway I never knew that there was that many penners on this highway here but I guess they are and anyways, let's continue on with our journey. Thanks for joining us today. And let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Hey, this tune is dedicated to all the great truck driving songs and singers of the past. I just crossed Frazier Creek at one o'clock today. No one riding with me, so there wasn't much to say. I looked into that west coast mirror and saw a nice rainbow And by the way, here comes three big semis in a row That girl I left in Little Rock left me with a smile So I grabbed my breath mints off the dash and I thought of her a while The last thing that she said to me was, Theodore, go slow And by the way here comes three more semis in a row I wonder if this Peterbilt could talk, what would it say? Would it tell me about the sights it's seen across the USA? Hey, I hear Stone Cold Fingers playing on the radio And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row I hope I can gear this old truck down cause there's a cop Though I could have used a little more speed to get me to the top of Mon Eagle where a few have died and left us feeling low And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row Beating through the windshield, melting my dentine. So I pulled down the sun visor and it fell between my knees. A picture of that truck stop waitress we all knew is flow. And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row. Someone on the CB is cussing them orange cones and the brake check up ahead. Is making my tires moan I see that black man holding up a sign And it reads slow And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row Will they ever finish Highway 59? I sure don't know And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row Man, I can't believe this construction we're in a hex at fifth gear. It's here somewhere. Man, I gotta get back to Little Rock. I wonder what ever happened to old Flo. Alrighty, guys, we have just entered Iowa. I don't know. Today, I don't really feel like making a video, but I'm making a video anyways. Yeah, just regular Iowa. Just more cornfields than anything else. Nothing really interesting to see. But we are making it. We're making it happen. We're just cruising along and got not much to do, you know. Yeah, I already had my half an hour break earlier. Yeah. So. No, we only have 156 miles to go. 
and then uh, we'll be done for today we'll be on uh, i380 there a little bit of a stretch of i380 there's a flying j and uh, we'll just go in there and we'll call it a day probably fuel up and then uh, yeah now we'll just go to bed I guess and get up early tomorrow and go home we are in Cedar Rapids Iowa yep and I know on this I-80 up here somewhere a little bit east of here there is a couple of other YouTubers that I know of that live just east of here. Angie and Chuck show. Yeah. We'll give you guys a little bit of a shout out. Yeah. You guys go check them out. We got a nice little uh, new YouTube channel there starting at uh, still at the beginning stage, but they're doing it. Yep. Anyways, we still haven't gotten out of the rain, and I give up with getting out of the rain, though. <laughs> yeah. Let it rain. I don't care anymore. Just let it rain. No matter what, we're still going to make a video. That's right. I haven't turned off my wipers unless I've been stopped somewhere at a truck stop at all today. I've had my wipers constantly going today. But I guess it's better than snow, right? It's always a positive to the story, right? Could be better, it's better than uh, getting an ice rain or having a heavy snowstorm or something like that, right? But yeah, we only got about 47 miles to go. And we'll be done for today be at the Flying J that I want to stay at for tonight. We'll probably just fuel up over there and uh, go to bed. Well, not just fuel up. We'll, uh, we'll fuel up, take a shower, then we'll go to bed. Maybe put the video together from today and then try and upload it. And then uh, we'll probably go to bed. Yeah, that's right. So, I guess we'll just go over there and uh, if anything happens from here to there maybe we'll turn on the camera or we'll get time to turn on the camera or maybe I see something interesting and I'll film it so you'll get to see it well guys we are only about 18 miles to our flying J but we got a chicken coop up here so let's see if they're open yeah it looks like they are closed today yeah, that's good. I know the other scale, uh, there's another scale on the other side of the highway that's uh, going uh, south, I guess. And that one is usually open fairly regularly, so I don't know if the, they are open today, but the small one here is closed today. That's good. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know exactly where but the other one is. I guess the other one is a little bit further down the road. But this one here, uh, sometimes they're open too, you know. But I, uh, I take it today is not the day that they're open. Yeah, lucky for me, I don't have to waste time going in there. Because I am uh, really tight on schedule, really. I can make it no problem to that truck stop, but I want to fuel up as well, and that will be it. I won't have a minute left on my logbook. I'll be completely maxed out. I have nine and three quarter hours on uh, on my logbook left today, and uh, I'll have driven about nine and a quarter hours up to there. Did my pre-trip this morning, which is 15 minutes, so that brings it up to nine and a half. So I fuel up. That's another 15 minutes in the logbook. Well, that maxes it right out to my 9 hours and 45 minutes. That's it. And we're done. We can't go no further than that. That's for sure. Then it's still early in the day. 
So we should still be able to get a parking spot in there. So let's go find out. Let's go find out if we will get a parking spot or not. Yeah, that's where it looks like that's where the other scale is at. I thought so, it goes a little further down the road, but looks like there's a smoky bear in there, but I don't see no trucks in there. And I couldn't see if that truck came out of there or not either, so it didn't look like it, but you never know, right? Eh? Well, he's definitely in there, at least they got a car there. Well, it doesn't look like they're in there, so I guess they don't want to work on this uh, rainy day. They don't want to get wet going out and inspecting trucks, eh? I guess not. Yeah, it's so much better for us, eh? Yep. Well, guys, this is it. We are coming into our truck stop that we wanted to go to. Well, look at that. They got the road closed up ahead. I wonder why they got the road closed up here. No idea. They got the road shut down. We're gonna go get some go go juice. Yeah, we have to. We are low on fuel. Well, not low, 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 but we are low on fuel. So, let's go see if we can pull her in here somewhere and get some go go juice. Yeah, looks like we got a couple of lines open. They got a flying J just on the road there, but I don't really like stopping at that flying J because uh, I don't know what it is with that flying J, but they got no restaurant in there, you know? I'm like, why don't you have a restaurant? You know, you can just get fast food, that's it, you know? All right. A little too far, I think. Just a little bit, there we go. All right, we'll go fuel her up and then we'll see you in a bit. Okay, well, guys, here we go. We gotta enter our cards to activate this pump. So we can get some go-go juice. Yeah, enter all our, gotta enter all our information into here, you know. We gotta enter our truck number. Yeah. Yeah, and it's still raining out there. I don't know if you can see that, but I gotta choose tractor fuel. I don't want any def. I don't need any def. But also, you don't don't know what def is. It is afterburner fluid. That's what they got in this line right here. You open this, and that's what that is. Got a special uh, special hose in there for uh, def. That's where we got the diesel line, so we should be ready to go here in a second. Yeah, let's see. It says remove nozzle to fuel. All right. Let's put the camera up here somewhere and uh, hopefully you can capture me so we'll let you up. Here we go, guys. As I was saying to uh, Jukebox a while back ago, I always make sure I put my hose in and then I turn on the pump. There we go. Let's fill her up. Look at that. We're starting to fill her up. So let's go to the other side and open her up and then we'll fill the other side. Well guys, there she is. 207 gallons, $517.30. And another thing I wanted to show you guys was, uh, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about it, but I was putting some silicone right in this area here, right in this, uh, right in this spot right here. And then all the, also all the way alongside up there. The reason why I did that because I was getting water into my bunk. And ever since I did that, I mean the last two days it's been raining, my floor is not wet anymore. So I think that's where the water was coming into. But anyways, let's go park somewhere and uh, go get in, uh, get going and get our receipt. Well, well, well guys, we just finished having a good shower. We shaved, we brushed our teeth. Yeah, we're feeling good now. Oh yeah. Well, 
we are done for today <laughs> yep all that's left to do is uh, put these files into my computer probably render this video tonight yet and then we're going to bed I'm going to get up early tomorrow morning and get the heck out of here <laughs> that's a plan anyways <clears throat> it just really feels good after a nice hot shower like I had it was a much needed shower too I wanted to have a shower last night already but when I stopped at the truck stop I stopped at they had no showers <laughs> what a bummer but we got it done we got it done yep no we're done for today I know it's probably not much of a driving video today but I didn't really feel like filming too much today there earlier in the day so but we got it done we got a nice day in today we fueled up we're ready to go all we got to do tomorrow morning is fill out the logbook and put her in gear and go home we shall be home tomorrow that is the plan yep and with that we appreciate you watching it if you watch this all the way up to here we are just about to the end so we know uh, you appreciate my video and thank you for that thank you for watching it all the way to the end we appreciate it very much and with that we're gonna get out of here and stick around for tomorrow I will be back tomorrow so you never know what could happen so be sure to hit that subscribe button give me that good thumbs up if you like the video also share it because that's the way we get the word spread and that's how people are gonna find out about me and if you did that thank you thank you for hitting that share button so with that we are out of here have a good one everybody be sure to stick around for the next one